In this video, we're going to look at how to represent different fractions. We have two fractions here, 3 fourths and 2 fifths. And what we're really going to pay attention to is how the numerator, that is the number on top, relates to the denominator. So let's start here with the fraction 3 fourths. Now something important to note that is that I'm going to just color code this, so we're actually going to say that the numerator will always be 3, and the denominator will be represented by 4. So 3 fourths, what does that look like? Well, as you can see on the circle below, I have split this circle into four equal pieces. And the reason that I am shading over this with the blue is to represent that those four pieces are the four pieces shown in the denominator. That is the total number that, the, that it is broken into. So in order to represent 3 fourths, I would shade in 1 fourth, 2 fourths, and 3 fourths red. As you can see, the red is the numerator that is represented. The blue is the denominator, which shows the entire shape, all 4 fourths. Now let's do the same thing with 2 fifths. As you can see over here, I've already broken up this rectangle into five equal pieces. Those five pieces represent the denominator, which is five, for the shape broken into fifths. Now if I were to shade in two of those, one-fifth, two-fifths, I have represented the fraction two-fifths. Now what you can see here is you could just count the number of pieces that are shaded in. We have three over here, and we have two here, and that will tell you what fraction of the total shape is represented in the numerator, whereas the denominator is all the pieces that that shape is broken into.